this trip that we're watching right now. Hope you enjoyed episode one. This is going to be episode two. It's going to be just as epic. Lots of crazy stuff going on in this episode as well. Before we jump into it, I want to give a thank you to my sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. So as most of you know, I've been making my website and I'm still working on it, but I've come a long ways. I'm finding the Squarespace interface very easy to use. <laughs> That's good for me. So there's a lot of beautiful designer templates. I chose a very simple one, straightforward. I wanted a really white background, just things to pop. But the templates make creating a powerful online identity super easy. All the templates are a starting point for a wide range of projects. Whether you're like me, promoting your main gig, trying to get everybody over to YouTube or to buy products or support me, um, or it's just your side hustle, you know what I mean? Just like a thing you have going on the side next to your nine to five, it works for both. So like I said before, I picked a super easy, straightforward template, but you can get as creative as you want. In 2018, they opened up eight more templates. They have Stella, Pursuit, Impact, Blend, Pedro, Royce, Kin, and Val, which I'm sure if you guys look through those, you'll find some that you like. The really cool thing is it's all in one platform. You can create a really nice website with Squarespace and nothing to install, patch, upgrade ever. What I've been using a lot is the 24 hour, seven day a week customer service because I, uh, I have a lot of questions. <laughs> it's very easy to set up or transfer your domain on Squarespace. The domain transfer in allows you to transfer your third party domains to Squarespace instead of working with multiple vendors. It's a really big deal because if someone has a GoDaddy domain, they can just switch it to Squarespace, no problem. What I'm going to be taking advantage of as well to sell my patches uh, there is the online store. It's never been easier to sell products or services. Squarespace allows you to manage your products, orders, and inventory easily. All right, guys, so go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Joe Robinette to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash Joe Robinette to, to save 10% off your website or domain. So if you're ready to get started on your new business, make it. Get started with Squarespace. All right. Thanks a lot again to Squarespace for supporting another video, for sponsoring another video. Go check those guys out. Hope you guys enjoy this video. All right. Well, just getting packed up. The rain has stopped for now, and uh, it's a good opportunity to get all of our gear packed away. I'm going to have so much more water weight in my backpack from my tarp and my tent that... Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of double carrying today on that big one, which is going to kill some time, eat up some time, but it's the really probably the only option we have. Uh, this back, this sleeping bag is very wet. Just It like permeated through, right? It stormed all night, so regardless of how much tent you have, how waterproof your tent is, it, it'll permeate through after a while and start running through the down the walls and stuff. So this suit bag got quite a bit wet, making it a little bit more difficult to put away. And tonight, it might not have as warm, uh, as much warmth, but today is supposed to be a warm day. And Saturday, I think, tomorrow is Saturday? Yeah, it's supposed to be a cold night. But tomorrow is no rain. So hopefully, we'll be able to get to camp uh, tomorrow night or even tomorrow morning, we can dry our stuff out at the camp from tonight. Makes sense? Well, considering today we got a lot of portaging, it's raining, and I got to set up my uh, my backpack properly. This big camera and the um, tripod it's on are going away, and it'll be GoPro until probably tonight. GoPro. Just out on the water. Wind has died down for a minute. We're gonna head right to the portage. It's a 2,000 meter back to back with almost a 3,000 meter. So the 2,000 meter just right over here you know what I'm definitely gonna get some water into me before we start that thing because I'm feeling a little parched and headachey my headache's gone from yesterday it's just a little bit uh, not feeling as good as I could feel and I'm sure water will help that it normally does out here all right there's some loons going to town up and down right here and trying to catch them trying to catch them on film I'm not trying to catch them by hand that would be silly there he is hey, big 
right? Here is the beginning of our discontent. The 2000 meter portage, which looks to be start off like a mess. <laughs> oh man. Yep, that looks like it's supposed to. So just started the first big one and it's nine in the morning. I'm not gonna be trying to walk th around puddles or anything like that. Just slogging right through. There's no point. So let's see how long this one takes. I'm having a problem balancing my canoe properly this whole trip. I don't know why. I'm propping it up. Because normally I don't have to use my hands, right? But I'm propping it up in the front with my with my pole, my uh, paddle to keep it from coming down in the front. So if it's coming down in the front, I probably need to put the yoke farther to the front? No, farther to the back. I don't know, one of the two. I'll figure it out here soon. I'll have to stop, I'm sure. So I just stop and uh, put down the boat, take off my sweater, or my, my shirt, I've got a t-shirt on now, and move the uh, yoke forward and I did help with the balancing Oh man, it's a hot humid day I'm glad there's no Sun out though And the rains back Looks really pretty coming into this spot Oh misty marn I thought it was rain at first. So this portage isn't that bad. The uh, the first, sorry, the second one we're gonna do, the big one is, is a lot less um, <laughs> easy to follow. But we're doing this one pretty good. I'm sweating, I'm sweating my behind off. Well, we decided to drop the canoes for a little bit, <clears throat> probably in the middle of the trail, and uh, just take it easy. We're just hiking, hiking with our backpacks because there's some hills here. So it's a little bit easier to do it without the canoe and the backpack. I'm not going to walk far, and probably up to the hill, go back, get the boats, and then uh, continue single care, carry it for the rest of the way. You got to be getting close. It's, uh, it's going on an hour. We have taken breaks. And dropped our bags and rallied or relayed the, the canoe in the bag but oh, yeah it's taken almost an hour and I still don't see blue <laughs> still don't see the, the lake blue blue of the lake so I'm running on empty here I gotta when we get to the end I'm gonna eat some food and have a drink I didn't bring any water on the trail because oh, it's heavy and I already have a heavy pack So I'll, need, I'll, I'll be in due, due for a, a decent break at the end of this thing, which I'm really hoping is any minute now. You know that type one, type two, type fun? This is type two. for about two minutes until we get back on to the next one. On to the next one. The sun is shining. I almost don't want it to be right now. Oh, I'm bleeding. There's lots of mosquitoes. eaten my food, drank most of my water, and we paddled to the end of this lake. We have to start our long walk through the woods right now.
Oh yeah, it's great. Yep, longest portage of the trip, so we're good. Well, what I think I'm gonna do is leave my backpack here for a while and see how far I can get with just my canoe and then double back for it. I, it. Who knows, I might only walk a little bit. I'm not sure yet. It's 10.25 now. back I went and got my bag back was dumb it was a dumb idea I walked way too far I lost my energy by the time I even before I even got back to my backpack man these mosquitoes are nuts um, so I probably won't be doing that again I'll relaying I'll either do it for a shorter amount of time or just take a break with all my stuff on the ground and then pick it all back up and go with everything at once because you're burning way more energy walking back and forth a bunch of times uh, have I done this before? Am I new? carry my pole in my hand, and my paddle, sorry, and also my rope uh, attached to the front of the canoe. I can kind of steer it that way. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, yeah. That's a big difference with that canoe. The canoe's like riding on my backpack more than my shoulders more than my shoulders just because my, how my yoke is right now and uh, I can feel all in my hips like crazy oh man Needing bug spray. Die. 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 GoPro slash splash water. <sighs> Just taking a break right now. We're nowhere near done. Nowhere near done. We've already been doing it for an hour. Crazy. Back on the trail back walking on the trail never left the trail the trail is life <sighs> I think well once we get out of this we'll be back on the Tim River and I think I'm gonna take it easy on the river try and do a bit of fishing we still have a decent amount of distance to travel today and portage we still have like over a thousand meter 700 and 500 or something so decent amount of portaging left too but I need a break and I need to start having some fun, enjoying myself, not just busting my butt into the ground. So yesterday, we really put in a lot of time in paddling, getting to where we needed to get. The fishing wasn't great at that spot anyway, all those spots were coming in. But we're deep in the park now and I'm hoping the Tim River is holding some little brookies in there just to grab out. So that's what I'm thinking about on this trail. Just picturing fishing and calm, nice water. Okay, boys and girls, we are at the end, finally. This is what exhaustion looks like. Oh. Now, definitely didn't single carry that whole thing, but that was impossible. 
So that's what a big old portage feels like in Algonquin Park. This is the norm really like again this this portage was way bigger than than normal ones but this is all day long for every day of a canoe trip normally um that's why lightweight gear light canoe packing properly um gear wise and arranging it properly inside the backpack is a really big deal for this stuff well what'd you think of that portage you dug Fortitude. Oh, I you need to uh, go back and do it again. Yeah, I might not ever do that one. I won't. I swear. I said when I did it the first time, I'd never do it again. <laughs> well, luckily, it was a uh, for a black mark. Like it wasn't. It wasn't hard to. It wasn't hard to follow. Right. Like, no. There were lots of trees in the way. No, it wasn't like find your way though. You didn't get lost at any point. That's true. There's the rain. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Five minutes ago when I said I don't care what the weather does now that we're done and it was super hot now I care now I care that it's raining okay now I'll sweat from inside <laughs> I threw my line in got a little fall fish definitely throw it back I want nothing to do with that guy man this wind is Pushing me like crazy. Oh, 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 bro. Anyways, um, first cast, just right in the, the river, well being pushed and in the weeds. So it's not too bad, but it's nothing to brag about, that's for sure. So I don't know where Doug is. He stopped back there to put his raincoat on, and I haven't seen him for like 15 minutes at least. And I do not want to paddle upstream. So I'm kind of just. Coast in here, waiting for the guy. There he is. I see his red paddles. Man, that sun is a scorcher. It's still sprinkling, and the sun's come out. It's actually really cool. Oh man, that tree almost buckled. I don't know. That is some wind. That'd be great. Not on us, though. When Doug, was, when we were on that last portage, Doug had a big, thick uh, limb fall to the out of a tree and land right next to him. Sketchy. That's one of my biggest fears. That and hypothermia out here. Not bears. Not wolves. It's nice to relax. All these trees on the side of the river here are called alders. Just look at how many millions of them there are. They're a small shrubby tree. And then above them we've got white spruce, white pine, a bunch of spruce. Not much color over on this section. Not like in that portage trail. It was very colorful. Lots of maple. Very pretty. Isn't this pretty down here? A corridor, towering spruces on either side. Very pretty. All right. We have to cross the lake, and the wind is like the waves are all white caps. So we have to go like across it. So obviously, like 45 down and then paddle back up it. But um, it's sketchy, and we're uh, going to take the safety measures necessary putting on our life jackets and trying to buckle down everything in the boat that we can. Um, yeah, I got everything buckled down, so let's, uh, let's try her. All right, well, hopefully you can see the, uh, the extent of the weight caps on the, on the GoPro. So we're gonna just shoot down that way with the wind and the current, and then we're going to uh, come back, paddle back up that way along the shore. I am 
up out of the water. Oh my. big wave. That was a big wave. Oh my goodness. Going on a 45, but I still need to keep myself as straight as I can to the waves so it doesn't spin me around. rough bud. She's a she's a rough sea bud. Oh buddy. What we gotta do is we gotta cross the lake and, and get in behind that campsite there to go to the portage. Which is up back up that way. Yeah we still gotta come back up the lake a little bit but we're headed for that campsite. The only thing that we can do is go around the whole outer edge but even then, we still gotta cross. We still gotta cross up there and then paddle our butts off against up. this. It's crazy. To get there. Well, I'm uh, I'm good for s at least sitting out for an hour or whatever, eating yeah. lunch and trying to wait it out maybe. Yeah. 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 That was uh, that was that was intense. That was intense. Well, we s we might be uh, winded here. It's been over an hour that we've been here. We're just kind of waiting to see what happens. We might have to stay here tonight. It's not really what we want to do because we're losing um, distance. We'll have to make it up tomorrow, and tomorrow was supposed to be our fishing day. And we're going up river tomorrow in Petawawa. So, yeah, we're just gonna wait it out and see if um, worst comes to worst, we stay here. And if not, maybe in a couple hours, it's, it's almost four now, in a couple hours, if it calms down, we can start to make some more uh, distance, not still be able to camp where we wanted to or where we were supposed to, but uh, we can't. there's nothing we can do about it. It's just too dangerous. And it, the thing is, this is like a long, narrow lake, and we have to cross directly across it, right? And I, and I understand like coming down and coming back. It's just I was trying to do that and staying straight. Doug, too. Staying straight was almost impossible. It was sketchy. So rather than push it and uh, be irresponsible out here in the backcountry we are going to just post up and uh, i'll definitely let you guys know what the what the deal is when we figure it out but until then i'm just laying around doug's literally sleeping <laughs> you saw that eh <laughs> quite funny oh man holy wind okay so this is the water that i got from the front of the campsite where all the wind is crashing the waves are crashing into the shore and the wind's blowing everything there the debris and sediment and gunk and dank so I'm coming over here behind where it's not half as windy 
and uh, I'm gonna get some water over here because I'm parched. I'm gonna take some poop pills, some anti-poop pills. That's why, that's why. It's the same nasty brown stuff. It's not half as uh, windy over here, so I'm gonna try, but I don't have high hopes. Well, it's not much better. Not at all. But I need some water, so that's what's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be. You guys like my toque? It's an alpaca wool toque sent to me from an awesome subscriber. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's warm. It's very warm. All right, we've been here for about three hours. There's no end in sight. There's a red squirrel yelling at me. Oh, there he is right there. Anyways, there's uh, no end to this in sight, so what I think we're gonna do, what we are gonna do, is get in the boats and paddle down along the shore, like where Doug is now, all the way down there, and hook around and come back up against the, the, the wind on hugging the shore on the other side to get to at least that campsite across, and then possibly the portage, but we can at least take a, no, we can at least take a break at, oh man. Doug's soaked. We can at least take a break at that campsite or stay there, but it's better than just sitting here in the wind. So here we go. Life jack. I gotta get my life jacket on. So there's this island here, a small island, and we're gonna go around behind the back side of it and then come cut up on a 45 back to the other shore. Uh, it's much calmer down at this spot. Uh, it's still white caps out there. Got this. I think I got this. Just as long as no big gusts come. I got this. I gotta go quick though. That's a big, big wave. A couple big waves. Doug's going the other way. I just didn't feel comfortable doing this. But I think I see a little window of not too windy. Clench the whole time. It's a pucker, pucker five minutes. No pucker moment over here. just too much we're just holding on literally 
hold on at the side of the uh, shore here. I got spun around. Danger. I made it over here okay. Just gotta wait for like a little calm in the wind. All right, we're off again. I lost so much ground getting blown back this way, but it's okay. Obviously, we're not going to stay there with them or try and take it from them. So we're going to head on and be farther along to where we need to be. We're just hugging the shore. We crossed over behind the island. It has died down some. So hopefully we can make it up to the portage without too much issue. There don't look too inviting. We're still paddling down Shipagu, trying to find the portage, battling the wind. Well, we did overshoot the uh, portage in our uh, mad scrambling to try and fight the wind. Just blew past it apparently, so we got to go back with the wind this time, which is great, and uh, go back to the portage. Then do a kilometer portage and then paddle to a campsite and it's 6 10 now so it's gonna be a late night it's gonna be getting into camp late and cooking supper late and all that fun stuff but that's all right better than staying where we were and maybe we can just get up super early tomorrow and start you know what i mean we've got to make up some time today we slept in because of the thunderstorm in the morning or whatever and it's real daunting, you know, the thought of getting out of your nice warm sleeping bag, it's like just constant downpour, like, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, so anyways, we stayed in, in bed for, for a little bit later, so maybe tomorrow morning, get up at 6, head out or something. Okay, so halfway through this 1,000 meter portage, I'm dying. So there's one, <coughs> one site on the next lake, and it's 7 o'clock at night, so if nobody's there, we're taking it. Nobody's gonna come after seven. Um, and if there is someone there, we have to do another 800 meter portage and then paddle again. And we're gonna run out of light. So, cross my fingers. Great success. No one is here. Looks like a tiny little camp from here, but whatever. Uh, we're staying here for sure. Look at the sky behind me, very dramatic. Very dramatic. That was a day. That was a day. One of the most difficult days camping I've ever had. Most difficult <laughs> lately, for sure. So we got winded on that. How, how long do you think we were at that? Sorry, three, uh, four hours, five? Probably pushing four. Three, three and a half for sure. We so, should have been for five, or six. We should still be there, actually. We should. Hard day. Kind of, uh, kind of feel a little bit better now that I've got some supper into me. Have you eaten yet? Nope. <laughs> it's still, it's only 8.20. <laughs> oh, wasn't that the time? Uh -huh. Isn't it 20 minutes? Yeah, it is right now. There he goes. I had uh, chili 
we got to, <clears throat> we got to the camp and just set up real quick. We had really not much to um, to do other than set up our, our tents and get a little bit of firewood before it got, got dark. So I've already eaten, like I said, Doug's about to eat now. And I'm not gonna be up very late tonight. It's 8.20 and I'm thinking 9.30 maybe. So we lost a lot of time uh, distance today. We have to make up tomorrow uh, somewhat. And then our day out, which is Sunday, we were supposed to only have like a 10 or whatever, 11 kilometers to paddle out. We might have more which we always try to get out early because we have a long drive home, right? But that's all right. I don't have a meal for, for Sunday, so we need to get out for sure. I have your meal. No. Oh. I didn't get lunch today. <laughs> it was so windy. It was so windy. Like We were paddling. When the wind gusts, we were paddling, and we weren't moving. And that paddling, and then we just had to keep that boat straight because if, if the wind caught a little bit, it went sideways and you're gone so dangerous we're lucky those <coughs> excuse me those pack boats are very um nimble and sensitive what is the word i'm looking for you can paddle them quickly and they're agile agile whatever my brain is fried uh, so tomorrow we're going up the petawawa river against the current but Hopefully, and what was in the forecast is that tomorrow's a nice day. A chilly day, but not windy and no rain. I think this wind this wind is ushering in a cold front. Yeah. We're going to wake up cold in the morning. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, but that's okay, uh, except for my soaking wet socks and boots. <laughs> Might be a little chilly right at first. But, again, it's a lot of type B fun. Type B fun. Be fun to watch back, fun to edit. When I did those two big portages or, uh, a year ago or whatever in the springtime by myself, I vowed never to do them again. And we didn't plan on doing them. We just kind of had to, had to do it at last minute. So I would have packed differently. It's all a learning experience though. Still, after all of this. Hey, a tree just came down right over behind our tents. It broke off, it's live, um, pretty intense, pretty intense, so I'm going to get do this and get out of here quick, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a one on the diagonal over there, it broke off of this tree here at the top and fell down, that's the top of it, super sketchy. We looked around for dead stuff before we set up our tents. Our tents are right here. That is... It's not, it wasn't dead. It was, no, I know. It's got green... Oh, oh my goodness. I'm sh that was so nuts, man. Wow. Oh, right here. Look at it. Oh! This is our path to the house. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Nuts, <laughs> straight nuts. You see, I said this earlier in the trip that this is my fear. This and hypothermia. <laughs> oh my goodness, I said no bears, no wolves. This tree is in hypothermia. Ah, oh, crazy. Wow. This is, a, there's no, uh, there's, you can't tell the story after, but this, this is the top of the tree. You see how thick it is? It's like a foot. Probably more than a foot on the other end. Oh, definitely. Oh my goodness. And just snapped off. But yeah, how do you know? Look at the. You don't green, know. The There's trees. Green. There's trees here. Like that's green. That's a regular tree. Oh my goodness. Sketch Pat McGee. I ran. I ran. I thought I saw it coming. I, I I heard it and I thought it was coming down right towards us. I ran far and I fell down the little hill. But like, oh my goodness. Craziness, craziness. I'm moving my tent. The thing is, even if you do move your tent, there's trees. There's trees, bro.
Good morning, guys. It's quite a different scene from yesterday, especially out on the lake. Nice and calm. Slept pretty good. Got up at 6.30. It's uh, 7 now. So just getting some breakfast ready. And then we're up and out of here. Big day of paddling today. So yesterday, lots of portaging. Today, a whole lot of paddling. No trees fell down. We didn't get squished. That was so crazy. I almost forgot about it, right? That was nuts. Yeah, go back and check it out. Yeah. Go show the carnage. Yep. We survived. No? Just hypothermia we gotta worry about. <laughs> well, there I am. Oh, I put the right amount of water today. Look at that. You have to drink it? No, no drinking it today. Let's go check out the carnage back here. Last night was crazy with the trees falling. It was like four trees at least. Check this out. So definitely that one on a diagonal came down. Then see right in front of me here, this is all downed branches and limbs. Like look, cracked, broken. So there's this, this is a big tree laying this way with like a big old stalk on it too. Like it was like the top of a tree. This might have broken off too. I'm not sure about that birch. But then way back over that way, there was a huge crash. And then our tents are literally right here. But let's go check out. Look, it looks like it's common here. Like this looks like it's all been all brush piles that like uh, trees have been fallen in and stashed over there, the, the branches and stuff. This is the top of that one I was talking about. Just crazy, and like we were saying last night, there's nothing we could have done about it, you know? Like always say, well, look out for Widowmakers, look out for dead trees and stuff. Well, that birch was the only dead one, and that could have possibly been toppled before we got here, so. Look at it, right above us, too. This one's been broken off before, too. So yeah, That's why we were happy to camp here, because there's yeah. no top on it. Yeah, we felt, we felt comfortable underneath that. So we went from, on day one, went from two to there. Right, so that that distance. Hit my fingers here, and then there. And then yesterday, we went from Divine. It took us oh, like an hour to do that, 2,000 meter portage, and like two and a half hours, whatever, to get to the Tim River here. Then we went into Shipago. This was like the only smooth sailing yesterday at all. And this little stretch right here. Um, we saw those otter in there and it was not too windy or whatever. And then we had to come out onto Shipagoo and we had to go right across to, to this portage. And the wind was whipping uh, this way, right through this like wind tunnel, right? And we had to cross completely sideways to it. We ended up going to this first campsite first because it got winded and then coming around and crossing over to this. And then that's when those people showed up. So we had to paddle upstream or sorry, upwind. We paddled past this portage to like in here some for some reason because we missed the portage. Back down the portage. Now we're in Blue Lake. And we're to, now today we have to go from Blue, do this 840 meter portage into Big Trout, hook around, down through White Trout, down through Grassy, then up the Petawawa, which is against the current in the river and up through Misty Forks and try to get up to um, like Roseberry today, which is a long day. We might not, we might only have to, we might have to stay around um, Shaw, wherever Shaw is here. Shaw's here. Getting winded yesterday really screwed us. Like it, it really um, switched our plans around and stuff. And like we wanted to stay to our schedule and we just couldn't. So. Hopefully today we can make up that time and then be ready to get out of here tomorrow at a decent hour. It looks nice. The sun's coming up. There's a blue sky. Uh, everything's coming up Millhouse.
Which way? By the tents? Yes, yep. Doug's found some something back there. Let me go try and see what it is. Oh, it's thick, bud. It's thick. And wet. big one came down and uprooted all these two. The one that's leaned over. Took down two more underneath of it. This is insane. Look at the size of this tree. Oh man! I had no idea. That's what I'm saying. It's come a hemlock? See. Yeah. Come and see. Okay, I come. I come. It's just a domino effect. The big one came down, pushed over this one, which pushed over this one, which knocked this one, broke this one. Oh, oh look, look at this! I thought there was four trees, but I think there's six trees in here. Oh man! Dude, this is just, look at that one uprooted. No, that's what I'm saying. There's a couple uprooted, a couple snapped. But they're just this is a mess. It's just dominoes. They just got knocked over. Man. <laughs> well, do you remember? We heard like after cracks too, like a lot of the. Yeah, yeah. Well, even with this, even more when we we're back here behind us, it, they came down. But look at the break in this one. And look at the width of this tree. That's why big tree take down little trees. This is a monster tree. We're just walking on like a sidewalk. It's a big hemlock. But you can see oh, it. yeah. You can see the inside. It was rotten in this one. Yeah. The white. Yep. Thanks, that is nuts. Isn't that crazy? Paddling for some time. We're making good time, making our way. Lots of paddling. Paddling by awesome cliffs and some fall colors and open water. It's a nice day, man. It's a good day for paddling. It's a stark change from yesterday. It's a juvenile. We've made it to the Petawawa River. Nice. Maybe we'll do a little fishing here. And I'm going to pee because I haven't done that in hours. You should be proud of me. Well, Doug said he had a bite. He's standing right in the, in the uh, rapids, but I got to pee super bad. So, Portage is right here, about 100 meters shy of where Doug is. So, I'm just going to hop up on there and pee and grab a bite to eat because I'm real hungry. And I have to pee, like I said. It's a nice day. Like I said, that I'm very happy about today. Yesterday was challenging. Hey guys, joyous Noel. We've made it to the campsite. We, uh, we paddled upstream in the Tim River for quite some time, a couple hours, found this campsite. It's actually really nice, uh, big open behind, nice fire pit, and uh, good water access in front. We fished for a bit when we first got here, but uh, Doug only caught one fall fish and that was it. No trout, so if we got a trout, we were going to fry him up for dinner. No go. That's all right. We're both real hungry, so first order of business before tents or anything like that is get firewood, get a fire going so we can cook food. Uh, it's a nice big open camp. Looks like it's been stripped of wood. Let's see what we can find. 
There's a decent one here. If we take that one, that's all we need. It's dead for sure. That's definitely doable. Just look around for a little bit thinner. Man, it's cold back here. Chilly, chilly. There's a uh, decent sized tree right here, dead, standing. Yep. That's more than, more than enough. I know that's what I said. I would look for a little smaller one, but yeah, that's a small one. we only use a, a little bit. I know, and then I walked about that far, and I was like, "Man, <laughs> Look at all these been cut off over the years. That's funny. So that tree it is. You better believe it. <laughs> Bam. My food's almost done. I'm just letting it sit now. It's almost ready. We both got our tents set up back in the woods. crazy how flat this area looks until you start really looking for a camp spot or for a tent site and then it's all sloped but it's not much at all it's fine and I'm so tired <laughs> I can sleep on a rock my old big Agnes tent fly creek ul1 just gotta get my sleeping pad sleeping bag, all that stuff in there, but I can do that later on. I can even do that after it's dark. We're losing light quick, as you can tell. Here's Doug set up in his MSR hubba. 
He's got no screen on it on this trip. He's got much more room in there than I do in mine. Good thing I'm just a little guy. Might get some color in the sky tonight. Relaxation time, finally. Today was the best day so far uh, for me. What do you think? Yep. It was, felt more like a real canoe trip day. Lots of portaging, lots of paddling, but nothing too crazy. Nothing like back to back 5,000 meter black portages coupled with de debilitating wind. <laughs> I don't think there was a point in the whole day that we thought we'd die. Today? Yeah. No, I felt that, pretty alive. Right? <laughs> Yesterday, that was a different story. <laughs> but we're both very high spirits right now. Um, we said to each other, this might turn out to be a decent trip after all. <laughs> you know, it just, it's just part of it. Like, And if it was a longer trip, those first two days, we would have forgot about by the end of it by anyway. anyways. But tomorrow is is our last day. So, a little bit of crappy route planning on our part this time. We really did wait till the end, till we got to the park office to book it. To even really... Attempt to book it. Yeah. And most of the sites were filled. But they were, yeah, they said it was a long... Uh, felt, it was supposed to be filled up like a long weekend for some reason. Even though we've seen... Mind you, today... Three people? Of the dozens of campsites... We didn't see one occupied. Right, and this whole trip we saw maybe three three sets of canoes. So, anyways, whatever. But yeah, poor planning on our part for it, but it's okay. Um, we should have, if we wanted to fish, we should have just uh, focused on fishing and not moving so much. But we really, really put some distance in. Like today, we had to have gone over 30 kilometers. I'll mar I'll check it out uh, later on and figure it out. But We fished last time. This was our canoe trip. Right. Yeah. Let's we'll call it a canoe uh, trip. Call it a canoe trip, not a fish. That's what we do. We turn it into a canoe trip. <laughs> In the mornings and at night, sitting around the fire, just kind of hanging out has been like the highlight for me. Also, the otters. Um, and then looking back on it, the almost dying in the wind is a highlight, even though I didn't want to almost die in the wind. <laughs> Good times. And there will be more. How about those trees last night? Oh, man. <laughs> those trees, boy. There's been... And then today, we only showed a couple of them, but there's been blowdowns on multiple portages. Yeah. Probably every portage has one down. We we hacked, we hacked uh, away at a couple of them, but the other ones that we could step over, we did. So we worked it out. And we did 35 kilometers today-ish. And that was pretty good. It took us about 11 hours. And we worked out what we have to do tomorrow. And we thought we only had like 10, 15. We have 22 or 23. So we have a big day. I'm going to try and get up and get out of here early. I've been saying that every night. But tomorrow we really are going to try and get up, have breakfast quick, throw our tents into our sleeping bed or into our back backpacks because it doesn't matter we have barely any portaging tomorrow and tomorrow we're out of here so we don't really have, <coughs> excuse me have to take time and pack it away properly throw it in and bounce we have a lot of upriver travel almost all river we we have a couple lakes that we go into but almost all of the 22 kilometers is river so if we get out of here by about three tomorrow uh in the afternoon that'll be good so that means we need to leave here like six or seven in the morning but then there is an eight hour, seven, eight hour drive home. And I need to be home because I have obligations on Monday. So the adventure continues. Lots of, <laughs> lots of paddling, lots of canoeing, but it's good. It's cold. Building up my man muscles, you know, making myself back into a healthy, not weak, Joe. <laughs> it's gonna tell it. More whiskers than I do this trip. Every time I come around your city, bling bling. Oh. That's what you get. And then I 
Broke your glass. No, no, it's okay. There we go. All right. So I'm going to end this tonight uh, here. I'll get with you guys tomorrow. I don't know what kind of footage I will have for tomorrow because it's going to just be a lot of paddling. But considering there's not portaging or very many portages, I'll, I will have my big camera out. So maybe we can see a moose. It'll be a nice morning. Maybe there'll be some mist. Maybe a fish or two. Sasquatch. Sam Squatch. All right, guys. Have a good night. Are you going to bed? Are you guys going to bed? Going to bed right now. Fade to black. Bed <laughs> bedtime. There's something over there. I just woke up, and all I can hear is crashing in the woods. It sounds big. About four in the morning, Doug and I both woke up. He heard a, uh, I got up to pee, and he's like, I heard a moose in the bush crashing through. I didn't hear it, but he told me about it, and now I hear it when I'm up, and it's Some tree block in the river. So there was zero percent chance of rain today, and uh. She's raining. It's not too bad right now. It's just starting. It seems like it's going to be an all-day thing. Uh, clouds are very gray. And there's rain. But that's all right. We still got half a day at least. We started at 8. Oh, no. It's only been three hours. We got at least four or five hours left. Just paddling I'm on the last stretch now. We're back on the Tim River after a bunch of portaging and rivers and lakes. Back on the end here, and uh, should be coming out soon. We got turned around on our last lake a little bit, and last, lost some time. We're both really tired. I ate my last um, sandwich just now, so I got a little boost of energy. So, <clears throat> making the long haul out. We got probably go eight nine clicks left to go a few hours because it's upriver and it's slow going 
But this has been a good trip. It's been a uh, very hard trip, a very difficult trip, a very rough trip, but it will be a very memorable trip as well. A lot of cool, very cool things happened. A lot of very exciting things happened, and we busted our butts, and that's no joke. So I'm going to end this here. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, watch out for new videos very soon. Please give me a like, comment, and a subscribe. I want to hit a million very soon. That is a goal of mine, and I'd really appreciate some help with that. So thanks a lot, guys. On to the next one.